Francisco Hernandez, an immigration attorney. Why should Molly's death not right, be attributable, you. Francisco, to lax immigration laws or enforcement? Uh, look, it's a shame that we're politicizing this murder to vilify 11 million people. The problem is, yes, the laws do need to be changed. Yes, President Trump, you promised to change them. Congress has a majority. Electing more Republicans is not going to get it done. We have a majority now. Why can't we do immigration reform now? The wall, what happened to Mexico building the wall? You want to stop illegal immigration? I'll tell you how you stop illegal immigration. Stop using drugs so the cartels don't bring them, and stop hiring people. How about that? You don't even need to change the laws, except we have to go back for ratings and vilify 11 million people to blame for the murder of one person. It is a shame that we're politicizing that event. But it, it has happened again. Uh, we saw the murder of Kate Steinle in, in San Francisco at the hands of an yes. illegal immigrant. Why you, been, you cannot uh, use a broad brush to label all of the people who come in here illegally, but at the same time, thank you. Uh, at the same That's time, right. when you have cases like this, it certainly sets back the argument. Well, let me tell you the Kate Stanley case. Did, did you realize that he that the that the murderer had a uh, immigration hold since he was in L.A.? He didn't go to San Francisco. He was taken to San Francisco by law enforcement authorities. Why wasn't he in federal prison five years ago for a 20-year sentence? Okay, that's under existing laws, under enforcement of existing laws under Republican and Democrat. Uh, administrations. Now we're trying to blame 11 million people that had nothing to do with that one. Again, it's a shame that we're politicizing those events. The president has said he wants the wall. Uh, if it were in place, would it not make it tougher for the cartels to to bring not only drugs but um, but people across no. the border? No. Okay, build a wall. We're going to have to legalize 100,000 Mexicans to build it. That's a good start. But you know what? We cut deals. Our government cuts deals with certain cartels to be able to manage the flow of the drugs and the people. We are as much to blame, but I just told you. You know how to solve it? Stop using drugs and stop hiring illegal aliens. Let's fix it that way. But we can't. Okay? We're not going to stop using drugs. And uh, because we don't want our roofs to cost three times as much, we have to have the manual labor. We are at a severe labor shortage. Why not change the laws and separate the people that would harm our country from the people that want to build our country? Dan Patrick is lieutenant governor of the state of Texas. He joined us earlier. He is fired up about the death of Molly Tibbetts. Here's what he had to say. Every sheriff in America is a border sheriff, and they will tell you that. And when criminal aliens brought here by cartels, remember, you don't cross the border without the cartels allowing you to cross. Come to the heartland of America and grab this poor girl and take the life out of her. A town of 1,400 people. America better wake up. It happened, Francisco. It may not. It may not Dan be Patrick the case. Dan is running for governor. Well, but it may not be the case with all of the 11 million people you're talking about. Um, but it happened. And how do you how do you look Molly's parents in the eye and and say that you know this was uh, just a paperwork snafu? And, and, and you know what? I, I can't look at their eyes. I can't feel their pain. I can't say I know what it feels like. But I know not to go on as a politician on national television, pandering to the fear of people in this country. Dan Patrick wants to be governor, and that's all he's doing. Uh, if, according to him, his sanctuary bill fixed the entire issue in, 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 in Texas. Obviously, it didn't. Let's get on to true immigration reform, the good, the bad, and the ugly. We're just going to have to get to it. There's a Republican majority. There's a Republican president. Let's get to it. Yeah. You call it pandering. He calls it passion. Francisco Hernandez, thanks very much. Thank you.